Well, that warning, the St. Clair River started rising overnight Sunday night. Yesterday, it spilled its banks in East China Township, sending the residents scrambling. Today, things have gotten better, and the Coast Guard's been out there breaking up the ice. Local 4's Rod Maloney shows us the mess people are still dealing with. The St. Clair River spilled its banks and came down a couple of blocks, and it is dangerous walking out here, but take a look. The water has subsided, but it didn't change the fact that this van is now locked into the ice and is probably going to be at least for a few days. A lot of the people got so concerned, they evacuated and stayed somewhere else last night. Waking up to the gorgeous waterfront views is intoxicating, and it's why you live here. And yet, while it's not known for doing so, the St. Clair River can turn on you very quickly and without warning. And that's what exactly what happened. A strong north wind pushed Lake Huron ice down the river, caused an ice jam near Algonac. Resident John Burden explains what it's been like the past two seasons here. Everybody goes into a panic. Uh, it, we know that if we don't if we don't see the ice going to the right downstream, we're in deep trouble. Neighbor Bruno Trax evacuated his riverfront house last night. His biggest fear, the lake ice would slide through his front plate glass window. He returned this morning glad to see that his house was fine, but the neighbors who were not home, well, they didn't fare quite as well. well. Theirs came up up to their house, so they probably have some flooding in the house or in their crawl spaces and in their garage. The water came up to the gas meters. They would have to shut off the gas, and that would have been a, a real tragedy. The ice froze so thick on several side streets they had to close them. Snow plows weren't up to this job. They brought in a road grader that needed several passes to clean things up. Residents are doing all they can to keep their houses intact. Bruno told us things were getting dangerous. So when the furnace gets flooded, you have to call in the heating company. And of course, a lot of people like having ice skating rinks in their front yards, but that's not how they wanted it here. The belief, though, is that because the Coast Guard cutters are now up and down the St. Clair River, that the worst of this is over. In East China Township, Rod Maloney, Local 4.